I always say it's worth taking a second look through the shelves and this is why. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. So I have come up with a little bit of a different plan. Tell me what you think about this in the chat if you would. I have decided that for Sunday's video, I am going to continue to go to my favorite Goodwill here on uh, Cheyenne in Las Vegas. And then for Thursday's video, to try different local thrift shops, whether it's going to be Savers or Salvation Army, Assistance League, Dog Junkies, all the little privately owned and smaller chains and uh, chains that might not be cross-country. What do you think of that idea? Just to mix it up a little bit. So because I did my last video at Savers on Thursday, it's been a week since I was at my favorite Goodwill here. It's really exciting. I'm sure they've got lots of new things, um, lots of stock that I haven't seen. We'll have to remember to look and see what the color of the day is. It looks like it is orange through the window. And on the 23rd, that's Saturday, tomorrow, they do have a red tag sale if I can swing back in. Let's go inside. Let's go thrifting. We will grab a cart here. I'm going to pop my bags with my thrifting Vegas blanket inside. Color of the day is orange. All orange tags are 50% off. I have many, many comments asking me to please stop the annoying background music. And unfortunately, it's a necessity. This Goodwill plays their radio music really, really loudly. And if I leave the popular songs that play on the radio on my recording, I will get a copyright strike from YouTube because I'm not allowed to use popular copyrighted music in my videos. The background music's job is to cover up the popular music so you can't hear it. <laughs> I just spotted this gorgeous light blue little vase in the vase section. It's got lots of little rocks in it, but it's only 99 cents. The thing that attracts me to it is its thick base where you can see the blue. It's absolutely lovely. I can't wait to take those rocks out of it. I think I've looked at that vase before. Let's pop it in the cart. We will keep looking while we're here. Although I'm not seeing anything else in the vase section. There's planters, colored glass vases. have to touch this every time I come in. <laughs> Always make sure you look behind things, check the back of the shelves, up high, down low. Here is a shot of the whole first aisle. The shelves look really, really full. The candles are first. A few of you have asked me why I don't pick up candles. Here in Vegas, it's already quite hot. We've had days up towards the 80s already and shipping candles when it's over 75 degrees is just not good. They melt, they get soft and misshapen. So once March hits, I generally don't ship candles at all. 
Here are a couple of party light boxes. Let's have a look. These are probably candles. Yes, that one is. And that one says candles too. Oh, look at this. This is not a candle holder. This is a gorgeous L.E. Smith amethyst glass candy dish from the 1930s. It's in perfect condition and only $3. Down here, we look to have some uh, Mexican pottery, part of a tiered titbit tray. It's a shame the rest of it isn't there. This is quite nice too. Oh, this is not for food juice. That was unexpected. I thought that was a nice uh, artisan pottery piece. It's a stack of Pennsylvania souvenir plates. I love looking through stacks of plates and saucers. This looks like the Audubon Society. Sadly, they don't go for much. Here is a bag. These look quite interesting. Sets like these sometimes will surprise you. So I'm going to pop those in my cart and uh, have a look on eBay. Here's a bag of fruit, not very uh, high quality, but we will take these. The bag is $7.99, but I'm thinking I might be able to get 30 to $35 for all of these. We'll see what uh, results we get on eBay sold. Let's keep going. Here is a little chicken dish. Ooh, something funky going on at the base there. We'll leave that. Got some damage. Little trinket box. Ooh, look at this yellow lusterware dish back here. This looks German. Bavarian possibly. It's two dollars. I just love the yellow luster with the blue and orange flowers. It's really pretty. Over here we have a little horsey trinket box. That's really fun. I know a certain someone who just had her birthday and I think she will like that. We'll pop it in the cart. It's a little dragonfly candle holder, some southwest pottery. This, I believe, is an Avon perfume bottle. Ooh, back here is a milk glass swan. This is vintage. I actually just changed the batteries in my black light, so I'm going to rummage in my purse for it, and we will shine the black light on the milk glass swan and see if it glows. A black light will show, now this is definitely milk glass, a black light will show any uranium or manganese content of glass items. I do like this chap. I have one in uh, blue in my inventory, a cobalt blue iridescent one. So I might put them together and sell them as a pair. Here is a Ray Dunn style 
tray. I think this is possibly a Walmart piece. Ooh, what is this? This looks like a cribbage game. It's made to look like ivory. It's faux ivory, sort of a scrimshaw etched duck. I think the pieces are missing, but still, it's a really fun piece. I'll pop it in the cart and look it up on eBay. Some little plates there. Look at him. This is an inlaid shell little onyx turtle. Oh, he is fantastic for $2. My good friend Danny, the niche lady, collects tortoises and he is just fabulous. She will love him. <laughs> In the cart, my friend. In the cart. Up here are a couple of uh, Chinese, I believe, calendar items. The year of the pig, possibly. And, you know, I might be way off here, but they look like uh, Asian calendar animals. That one is quite chipped on the base. So I think I'm going to leave them for somebody else. Here is the bottom of a milk glass butter dish. I love these. I am going to hold on to this and see if by any chance I can find its top or lid somewhere on these shelves. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Here is a Fairmont ashtray, only worth about $10 to $12. A little shelf system for some miniatures probably. Not marked. Look at this fellow. He is so great. He's inlaid with some little mirrored diamonds here. He's etched all over. He's got a lovely face. He looks like a barn owl. Let's definitely grab him. We'll sit him right up front there. Here we are in the baskets and the wood section, shelves and plaques. Ooh, these are fun, very festive. Two little Merry Christmas coasters that look like wood rounds. We'll get those. What do we have back here? These frames look really vintage. Well, these are fun, aren't they? Heartland Manufacturing Inc. Denver, Colorado. Looks to be two of them. Vintage photographs always sell very, very well on eBay. We'll get both of those. Let's keep going here. There's a little box. That's a camping shower platform. A nice piece of art there, looks to be original. Sadly, I don't have a booth anymore, so I have to steer clear of large pieces because I just don't have anywhere to store them. 
and I really wouldn't want to ship that. I am thinking about that camping deck, although we don't tent camp much anymore. We usually book a cabin when we go up to Utah fishing. I think they're still under snow at Navajo Lake there, but come May or June, we shall definitely go up. We'll take bear, we'll go camping or cabining, fishing, hiking, and metal detecting. And I always do a little bit of thrifting on the way up. Here are some Pimpernel English placemats. I always pick these up. They remind me of my childhood. My grandparents and great grandparents, aunts and uncles all had a set of these. This is an English cottage. It's absolutely lovely. Can't leave those behind. Miley had those bookends when she was little, the little flower and heart there. There's a huge M. <laughs> Speaking of Miley, that's massive. Lots of letters. All different colors. Sadly, this little Dura plaque has a big chip on the side. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see, at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. This is interesting, but that too has a really big chip. It looks to be quite vintage, which is a shame. What's this? Oh, here is a Vince Gill scarf. These scarves always sell well for me. They're super easy to ship. So we'll take that. So I thought I'd take a quick second to identify this bowl with Google Lens. You're going to bring up the little camera in your search bar, which brings up this screen, and you're going to actually take a picture of your item. Let's try that again. You need to get it within the little bars of that box there and then it'll actually bring up suggestions of what the item might be. So here's what it came up with. Ellie Smith Mount Pleasant Double Shield Black Glass Three Footed Bowl Candy Dish for $25 plus shipping. And with that information we can do a better search on eBay. On my last thrifting trip, I found two lovely pieces of a California pottery Lazy Susan serving set. And now I'm obsessed with finding the bowl portion in the wild.
Ooh, look at this bowl. This is Treasure Craft, Southwestern theme. It's only 99 cents, but sadly, I think it's, an on, it's only a 10 to $12 piece. Let me show you the mark. There we go, Treasure Craft USA. Unfortunately, the other pieces to this don't seem to be anywhere around. I'm going to check this white leaf here. This is a clay art leaf. I always pick up crate and barrel leaves. They do really well for me. Let's see what else they have. So many different stacks of plates. These blue and white ones are false graph. These ones are pretty. Let's see. Ooh, look at this stack. I think these are Limoges. Let's take a look. Laurie Jappy, Paris, France, Limoges. They are, they're absolutely gorgeous. The pattern is called Grenade. There are six salad plates here. They're orange and red with blue and green accents. They look to be in great shape. all marked on the bottom and up here are four dinner plates with a similar pattern these would look absolutely stunning stacked in a place setting I am going to check these out on eBay just to be sure but I have a feeling that although there's quite a few listed there are none sold. Let's pop them back in one stack over here. There we go. Here we are in the metals. Look at these candlesticks. These are fabulous. Definitely got some age. Baldwin forged in America. These are wonderful. Now I'm not sure if they were originally black or if somebody painted them, but the black finish is absolutely gorgeous. It's glossy. It's perfect. So I think they were originally black. A couple of little elephant ring holders here. These are really, really fun. Let's grab these as well. We'll put them all in the cart. Running out of room is a scale. Oh, look at this girl, Craft Mart, definitely a vintage sticker. She's got some age and she's put together with tiny little pins and screws. Let's take her as well. A massive kettle that must be for display supplies it's quite interesting it's a little candle holder there Quite like the blue glass in there. Here 
Here's a chalkware wall pocket. It's quite chipped, unfortunately. Here we are in the kitcheny bits, and here are two lovely big apothecary jars. But they're really thin glass, and I wouldn't want to ship them. There's a decanter with no stopper. Let's see. Here is a gorgeous water pitcher, it's clear glass. Very elegant with a lovely eye slip, but unfortunately, clear glass just doesn't move for me. It just sits there. Here is a florist piece vase, cloudy bottom, made in China, quite lightweight. We'll leave that. Oh, look at this! This is a piece of federal glass, it's amber. It's absolutely gorgeous, perfect condition. It is $5.99, but you know me, I can't pass up a gorgeous piece of vintage glass. I am on the lookout for some Gibson heavy stoneware nesting mixing bowls with the blue stripe around the inside. I have three small ones and I use them for cereal and ice cream. I absolutely love them. I would like to have a fourth one and possibly the large one in the nesting series. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's very lightweight. I thought it was going to be more substantial. And these actually are Walmart. They look to have a sort of an otagiri speckled finish. Look at this amber pitcher, it's still here, and this time I have to take it. I can't bear the thought of it going to Goodwill bins, or even worse, to the landfill. It's a fun little bowl. It's not marked though. Here is more in that Ray Dunn style series. There's a little reamer here. I think it's modern, but let's give it a go with the black light. If it has uranium content, it will light up green. And unfortunately, it doesn't. Lots more bowls. This is a really pretty tureen. It's got yellow flowers with green leaves. It's a Japanese piece. It's $3.99. It's complete with its spoon. It's nice. It's a little Japanese teapot. Back here we have a nesting bowl that goes with this set. I wonder if there's a third one. Back here is a Los Angeles Pottery Baker. This is super heavy. It's only $2. Hopefully someone will pick that up. That would be lovely for an apple cobbler or a crumble. It's an ice bucket. It's very lightweight. KitchenAid chopper. Some coasters. There's a box of cards. These are quite handy to have for different occasions. They look to be quite vintage. I wonder if there's a date on there. 
I always say it's worth taking a second look through the shelves and this is why. He's a Joan Baker Designs ceramic patchwork elephant. He's stars and stripes. He's trunk up for good luck. He's absolutely gorgeous and only $2. Let's pop him in the cart. Let's see what they have in the artwork. Lots and lots of small frames. Here is a little shelving unit with some artwork on top of it. Oh, look, do you remember these little Spanish postcards with silk embroidered thread? There's two girls and two boys. What a lovely set. I just love this girl in the yellow dress and he has a matching yellow top. And this couple here, blues and pinks. It's just a gorgeous set of four to place on the wall in a group. Let's put these in the cart. What else do they have over here? This appears to be a print, but sadly it's got some sun damage. It slipped uh, in the frame. It is quite old. I do like it, but it is a bit damaged. I'm just going to take a second here to spread out my Vince Gill scarf or handkerchief. Make sure it's not damaged. It appears to be new. I think it's vintage because he isn't that young anymore. <laughs> it doesn't have a price, but I'm sure they will give us a price at the counter. I think that is New Orleans stand it up. I'm going to take a step back and have a look. I'm just so disappointed it's faded and damaged but let's move on to see if we can find anything else. Lots of big pieces. Not much furniture. They've sold through all those couches they had. We are taking a look at the shoes. Seeing over here what I thought were some Vibram Five Fingers running shoes, which are quite desirable, but these are Fila and quite worn, so we'll pass on those. Let's have a peek at the purses. Let's see. Looking for anything vintage and fun. Cora Jacobs. Unfortunately, this is damaged, but it's very vintage. think we'll call it a day. Here on my counter is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Bandit has found the box and the thrifting Vegas blanket.
first we have the lovely little glass vase. I really like how the base looks like it's quite thick and you can really see the blue colour. I paid $1.99 for it and I'm going to ask $20. Next we have this pair of vintage glass swans. I found this one on this shopping trip. It's a milk glass swan. You could use it for, as an open salt for soap, for jewelry or trinkets. Really lovely. And this is one I already had. It's an iridescent blue carnival glass. Very similar. I thought they looked very nice as a pair. I paid 99 cents for, for this one and I'm going to ask $30 for the pair. This is a cribbage game. It's faux ivory. There's a, a duck sort of etched into the material here. It's a scrimshaw effect. It is actually missing the two little, well actually four little pegs that you use to play the game. And there was originally a stopper that held them inside the game for safekeeping when you weren't using it. I don't know whether a replacement set of pegs could be found. I just thought it was a really interesting piece, fun for display. I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $15. These two pieces I'm going to give as gifts. This lovely inlaid onyx turtle will go to my friend Danny the Niche Lady. She collects tortoises and turtles. And her daughter Rachel who loves horses, just had a birthday. So this will go to Rachel. Here we have a lovely Ellie Smith vintage amethyst bowl. It's a gorgeous black glass. It has three feet it's from the 1930s. I paid $3.99 for it. I'm going to ask $20. goes very nicely in a grouping with these two candlesticks. These are vintage Baldwin forged in America. They are actually brass I believe underneath the black. I like the fact that they are two different heights it's a really nice effect and as you can see the grouping with the bowl is really nice. You could even put a floating candle in the bowl. That would be fun. Back here we have a set of four Pimpernel English placemats. I just love these. There's a set of four, all different English cottages. I paid $2.99 for them. And uh, if nobody wants them for $20, I will keep them for myself. This is a vintage articulated figure. It's a female form. She is put together with little pins and screws. She has a vintage craft mart label, originally $9.95. I paid $1.99 for her and I'm going to ask $15. Back here we have our fantastic set of four Galada Spanish silk embroidered postcards. They're framed 
They were framed professionally. They have backing and uh, Michael's stickers. These are vintage Michael's stickers on the back. Absolutely lovely to put in a grouping of four on your wall. Just look at the detail of her skirt there. It's just fabulous. The little boy's jacket, his waistcoat, and her entire dress. Absolutely lovely. I paid 99 cents a piece for them. And I'm going to ask $25 for the set. I found this little set of fairy garden forest figurines in a baggie. The baggie was $7.99 and I'm going to sell them as a set asking $20. Look at this gorgeous little barn owl. He's absolutely lovely. He looks really tired, like he's ready to settle down for a nap. He has inlaid little glass diamonds on his back and he's painted and etched all over. He's got gold accents. It's just absolutely lovely. I paid $5 for him and I'm going to ask 25 These patchwork safari animals sell really, really well for me. This is actually the first Stars and Stripes one I've found. I usually find the jungle print. It's absolutely lovely. Ceramic with a decoupage um, flag over the top. I paid $2 for him and I'm going to ask $40. Here we have two little elephant ring holders. They're absolutely lovely. Trunk up for good luck. They are a lightweight metal. I paid 99 cents a piece for them and I'm going to ask $15 a piece. This is a lovely little dish from Germany. It's yellow lusterware with blue and orange flowers in the center, appears to be hand painted. It's quite lovely. Let me show you the mark on here. It says registered, celebrate, made in Germany. Paid $2 for it. And I'm going to ask $15. I left this lovely vintage amber glass jug behind last time and I just couldn't risk it going to the bins or into the landfill. So I brought it home with me. I paid $4 for it and I'm going to ask $25. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous honey color. It has an eye slip. Just stunning. Absolutely love it. I have another gorgeous amber piece. This is a federal glass serving dish. It's like a starburst pattern. Absolutely stunning color is just lovely. It's not as deep and honey colored as the picture. It's more gold. I paid $5.99 for it and I'm going to ask $25. 
Back here on my necklace form, I have a glass heart available. It's on a black string with an adjustable knot loop at the top. It's glass with a silver backing and little flecks of bronzy gold. There's the back. It's a lovely, lovely piece. I paid $5.99 for it and I'm going to ask $25. Over here we have a pair of Christmas coasters. They say Merry Christmas. And they have the look of sliced wood. They're quite lightweight though. They have a Ross tag for $5.99 on them. I paid 69 cents a piece. And I'm going to ask $15 for the pair. This is our Vince Gill handkerchief or scarf. Quite vintage, I think. He looks very young. I paid $2.99 for it. And I'm going to ask $20. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the thrifting, the haul, and that you'll stay for a little bit of footage of Bear, who now has his own channel. If you see anything that you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, the price I quoted, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good oh boy. Got your stick? Got your stick. Where's Jake? Is he coming? Is he coming? Where's Jake? Hi, Bear. Well, howdy, y'all. This here's Bear. Good to meet you. Hey, thanks for watching my mama's channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. But I also have my own channel now. It's called Bear Von Weiss on YouTube. Come on over and follow me there.